In this video I will show you how to add products in Starcode. There are four interfaces by which you can do this. Option number one, under quick access heading you will find an icon named add products. If you click on it, then it will add products for you. Option number two, in the toolbar you will see this image, and if you hover your mouse on it, then it says add product. If you click on it, then it will add products for you. Option number three, in the products button, if you click on products button up here, drop down menu will appear and you can add products by clicking over here. Option number four, go to product management module and click on the button add new and then it will add products for you. Now let's talk about how to add products. Product code means unique code of your product. If you don't check this box then you will have to write the code yourself, otherwise software will generate it for you. Name of product is compulsory. It can consist of up till 50 alphanumeric sequence. You can write down the description if you want but it is optional. If you check the box does not have quantity it means that your product is not tangible this means it is a service for example a cleanup service. Unit name means how it is being measured. For example sugar is measured in kilogram. Subunit for kilogram would be gram. Sub items per unit is mostly set to 1. You can click on the tiny button what is this for help. For tax rate there are three available options A, B and C and you can select one of these or define your own tax rate if required. Then select category of your product this is also compulsory. If no category fits your product then define a new category by clicking on manage categories. Name your category and then click add button. You can also select image by clicking on select image. Then choose your image and click open. Click on add button and then stock button will be enabled. You have to enter the barcode or stock code. One product can have many stocks with different barcodes. If you check the box show as POS button then a button of this product will be made available in POS module. You can leave the product field empty. You can enter batch number, storage location for example shelf A. In purchase unit cost you will enter the cost at which you bought from your vendor. In sale price field you will enter price at which you are selling this product. In discount field you will enter the discount you are offering, put zero if you are not offering any discount. In quantity, you will add the current quantity and sub quantity of your product for this particular stock. Remember, this can be different for different stocks of same product. Reorder level is the quantity that if the stock reaches below it, automatically a purchase order will be generated. Reorder quantity is the quantity of which the purchase order will be generated. In the vendor field, add the vendor from whom you bought the product. If there is a new vendor, you can also add by clicking on this button. Now click on update. Now a product and its stock has been added. 